drawn to you know watching the watching the TV and, and seeing the things we saw on TV and uh, my wife and I were watching and and uh, we needed you know we felt some need to, to pitch in in some way. I contacted a few people from Sears, Target, Pearl, Lens Crafters, uh, even called Watch Station, Casual Corner. We were pulling all of them, and it's just how they were just responding back, saying, this is the contact person you need to see, um, and here's their phone number. And then, you know, the next day, they're calling me with a list of volunteers. I heard a voicemail uh, when I was at work, and I heard about the volunteer opportunity today, so I came out for that. Our RDO, uh, Lisa Marshall, called me and asked me if I would uh, volunteer some time uh, for the division band that was coming to Houston. And I had a week off and I said, well, let's go, let's go do it. Tamara is the general manager of Lens Crafters at Bay Brook Mall and she invited me to come here and volunteer. I've made it a point to uh, get at least one or two people from each store. They're the ones that are going to go back and be able to tell the rest of them, you know, what we did and, and how, we, how much we help people. We've got a great team of doctors from Lens Crafters, Pearl, Sears. I mean, it's just, just phenomenal how everybody have pulled together and uh, really, really made it happen to, to give the gift of sight for these people. And it was just amazing how everything just flowed together and we came together as one to help as many people as we can. My sight is my life because of what I do. Um, I'm a photojournalist, and without, without these, I have no life. I, I really can't make a living for my, my, my family. We've had men that's come in with, you know, that has families here, and the only thing he wants to do is go out and find a job, but the first thing he has to do is be able to see. And that's where the gift of sight is able to give them their vision back in order to go back out and get their jobs. Sight is a basic human right. It is not something that we should take for granted. It's something that everybody should have. And I believe that with my heart. I've lost every uh, material thing that I have on this earth, but the most important thing, you know, that I'm realizing more and more is about people. You can always get more material things. They'll always be there. You can't get more people. The reality is that we're all people. We're all really brothers and sisters. We're all the same. And if this happened to me, I would hope that people would respond to me the same way they're going to respond to here. You know, people always give lip service, but I find that your company actually stepped up to the plate. And that's very important at this time. It's what's needed. Our youngest patient, he was three years old and his mother was telling us how he's been wearing glasses since he was seven months old and he, his prescription was you know extreme for three years old and once we got the glasses on him it was just like he was back to normal you know and his mom was so thankful you know gave us a hug and I'm just so happy to you know to be able to do that to assist in what we're doing here what strikes me more than anything is the children that come to us and we put those glasses on their face and uh, they really, a smile comes over their face and you know that's when you know you've made a difference. It just touches my heart because this has been a real wonderful thing that the Gifts of Sight has done for these people. People need to see. They need to see um, where they're going. They need to be able to, you know, prescription glasses are so important in people's lives. Um, they need to be able to start with that and then they need to go on to getting their housing. Um, they need to be able to go to work and to be able to see and we are helping these people be able to do that. It's an amazing thing. You know, experiencing this is, uh, will change how I look at everything and uh, what I want to teach my children and, uh, you know, it, it, it has affected me that way and, and I'm just uh, honored to serve these people and uh, glad we can help. It, it, make, it makes you think about, it's made me, I, I can't quit thinking about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh.
<laughs> and I want to be here every day. And the two days I wasn't able to be here for two days, and, and I was bothered by it. And I can't explain what Mal makes you feel. You know, it just makes you, you know, get back to reality of your life and thank God for what you have. And um, I'm just glad I was able to help. Hearing these stories of all the people that they lost everything, it's just. We take for granted the things that we do have, and then when they're taken away, it's hard to fathom, you know, what they're going through. These people are going to be in my minds for a very long time. To be able to come down and serve these people and help them out has really, really touched me in a way that, you know, I'll always want to do that. I'll always want to be a part of this company. I'll always want to help these people, not only here in Houston, but anywhere there's a disaster. And it's changed me that way. It's made me love more and care more. I've seen people that have lost everything. So I'll, I'll just see people differently from now on. You know, the plight that these people have gone through, through no choice of their own, you know, to still have a smile on their face and, and just the way they, uh, the resiliency. It's amazing how much people can go through and still want to move forward in life. So we should look at that and say, I'd volunteer any day of the week, as long as you need me, whenever you need me.